All right, I'm here at Goodwill in Sparks, Nevada, and uh, records finally went back down to two dollars. And I'm going to get this Charlie Rich here. I'm on a Charlie Rich, uh, Don Williams, Willie, Buck Owens kick lately. Uh, Char Charlie Rich is just great. And I have two of these Roger Millers, so I'll pass uh, Tuco. <laughs> Well, this is a good Ramsey Lewis, but the condition's not so good. This would be a great album if the condition was better. There's Belafonte. Smothers Brothers, so funny. Look at that. You know, this is, guys, this is on sale right now for $12 on Amazon, $15 records and under. Check it out on a repress. There's no record. Bellamy Brothers, Peter, Paul, and Mary. One of the greatest of the greats, Benny Goodman. Looks pretty good, actually. Scott Joplin. And that's from the soundtrack. This is pretty interesting. The uh, wow, Billy D. Williams playing Scott Joplin. Glenn, I met Glenn at Lake Tahoe. Very nice guy. I told him about Gene Clark, and he knew Gene. I saw the Smothers Brothers about four or five times. They're so unbelievably funny their stand-up routine much funnier than on tv seriously this guy's a great singer thrift store number two yes there's the vinyl is there going to be anything here i don't know what is this no way. No way. That's what I'm talking about. Love Janice. Oh, look at this. Now, we just got a clean copy. But let me put that off to the side. Check that out. And down here. So, some more records on the back end of the rack. This is, uh, again, from thrift store number two. In Sparks, Nevada, Judith, Judy Collins, Chris Christofferson. Ah, a reading of uh, Dylan Thomas from Shakespeare. That This is interesting. Sergio, Lanny Hall, his singer in Brazil 66, married to Herb Albert. Still married, and she has a new record out, actually. What else? Blake Edwards, Victor Victoria, Chris Profi. <laughs> Check that out. Music by Henry Mancini. What? Beach Boys. I'll have to check the condition here. What? No way. <laughs> That's about in the shape of the one I own. I'll be checking this out. No way. This is coming home with me. I've been looking for uh, a very clean... Uh, I like Mancini a lot Very for a very clean Pink Panther. All right, this is my third stop. I've been wanting to come here for a really long time. 
And I met Wanda at 9 o'clock. She says she has half price records. I'm going to go on in. Okay, I'm inside at Antiques and Treasures Rock. Here we go. Gonna make a right turn. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna start over here. I already dug a little bit. They're half off today. I'll just have to see what's going on. There's your Commodores coming at you. Let's see here. Chubby Checker, Beach Party. Chubby. Oh, there's that weather report. Vinyl Richie was showing this. Hmm. Anyway, I'll show you what I what I bought back in the record room. There's one of my heroes, Love Glenn. All right, see you in the record room. Well, as you can see, I had a really good week thrifting. Went to four thrift stores in a row and got really nice records at all four. So I'm going to just get right into this and show you. And, uh, you know, the thing about thrifting, um, it you know, it, it gets you into artists, bands that you normally might avoid like right now I'm uh, you know I'm into Super Chunk from Chapel Hill North Carolina they're on Merge and Matador Records love Super Chunk indie band from the 90s and, the, and their new record is very good too and then I'm a big uh, Bob Pollard Guided by Voices fan you know they're from Dayton Ohio love Guided by Voices so much and uh, I've bought a lot of uh new vinyl from that particular band, especially their last five releases are just amazing. Let me get started with, uh, I'm going to get started with uh, thrift store number one. And here's a 12 inch single. And I'm, you know, I'm not really going to, I have a lot of records to show you. So let's just do it. Here is uh, Pretty Poison, Catch Me on Falling. I love the single. The wax here. All right, and then at the same thrift store, it's a really nice charity too. There was a Queen Ida album. I have never seen, uh, you know, she's the queen of Zydeco. Anything Cajun, Louisiana, Zydeco, I'm going to pick up. And I just don't have very much. I have some Doug Kershaw, but this was cool. And this is, this is minty, really, really nice. And I'm going to show you the wax on this one because it's very interesting. This is on Crescendo. And then I couldn't believe this one. And uh, this is just really nice. This is on um, Springboard. And this is the Beach Boys Greatest Hits 61 to 63 in the shrink. Pretty cool. And there's the original price sticker. And you have, uh, you have Surfer Girl on here, Barbie, Luau, Little Deuce Coop, Surfin', Surfin' Safari, just coolness for the Beach Boys. That was great. This is still thrift store number one. And I've never had, I've never had any Mannheim steamroller, but evidently this is about the best Mannheim steamroller. This is number three. And this is just minty in mint condition. So I'm pleased to have this one definitely. 
in the back. And I already put it in a jacket. I'll just, let me just go ahead and show you. There we go. And the really cool gatefold. <laughs> yeah. The early 70s. And then I really like Henry Mancini. I mean, guilty pleasure. No, I'm not guilty. I'm not shy to say. I like the good Mancini records. And the Pink Panther, this one is just nice and clean, squeaky clean, at least near mint to mint on this. I already put it in a sleeve. And there's the maestro, Henry Mancini. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Some of his, his earliest uh, albums are the very best. And this was there too. These, by the way, these were all a dollar. One dollar. And wait till you see the last one. Well, you saw it in the video. Thrift store number one. Here's Surf and Safari, the Beach Boys. And this does play pretty good. Uh, the record's about a VG. And uh, glad to have this. This is an upgrade from my OG. My OG... Uh, my other one is uh, not in the best shape, but this is better. And the songs for the Wilson Brothers, Al Jardine, and Mike Love. And Mike lives right up the hill from me up in Incline Village. And lastly, yes, in the video, this is the repress from 2011 for Pearl, Janis Joplin. And, you know, this is the record that... Uh, was released after her her death sadly and um you know what a you know to live through that to to uh experience Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin and Jim Morrison all dying right around the same time it was just uh it was devastating for all of us really i was all about 13 years old and uh i mean it just really made you think so anyway Janice and the Full Tilt Boogie Band. And this is that repress. And look, it's in the nice sleeve. And, I mean, guys, this is just unplayed. This was a dollar. So, so cool. Let me move on to thrift store number two. I'm not going to name names because people in town are starting to get my rhythm of where I go. I really don't mind. I really don't. But yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm playing with it. So actually, I've made a friend with um, one of the guys, Bill, that works at this store. Okay, it's Salvation Army. And it's one in, in uh, Sparks, Nevada. And I just couldn't believe it. I've been, I was going to buy this on the repress. This is Eagles on the Border. I'm such a big fan of the first two Eagles albums, and this is number three, if I'm not mistaken, and so I like the first three a lot, and the fourth one, uh, pretty good, and then the other ones I like, uh, they're so commercial, I like about half the material on the other ones, and um, yeah, I consider some of the other songs a sellout, but they're a, a huge band, and they like to do that, so that's cool, and there's tons of Eagle, Eagles fans. I always think of uh, The Big Lebowski, right? The dude gets into the cab, and the uh, the cab driver, the black dude, is listening to the Eagles, and, and the dude, you know, is into Credence, right? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the Eagles, this has a cover of Old 55 on here. James Dean is so good. Jack Tempshin wrote Already Gone. Jack wrote uh, Peaceful, Easy Feeling, and I met Jack at the joint in Los Angeles in 2002. And he also wrote Slow Dancing for Johnny Rivers. So there we go, Eagles on the Border. And then there was this Steve Perry Street Talk record here, still in the shrink. I am going to pull this off. And this plays good. This is just, uh, it plays quiet, no pops and clicks. Awesome. And there's that big hit, I forget what it is, the first track. Uh, oh, Cherie, or whatever, you know. But I, I appreciate Steve Perry and Journey a lot. Uh, Neil's wife, Beth, was a good friend in the mid-90s. Uh, Neil Sean from uh, Journey. His wife, Beth, I got to know her, a great gal. 
uh, they had two children together, uh, Neil and her, and I met her after she uh, had split with Neil Sean at North Lake Tahoe. And from Salvation Army also, this was just so cool. And here is Ziggy, Ziggy Marley, and the Melody Makers. And this is, I believe, this is the very first one. And this is a, a great listen. I love this record. I spun it from side A and the B side, and it plays great. A lot of very nice songwriting. And I love Ziggy's voice. It's so reminiscent of his father's. Uh, King Bob, as we say in the Caribbean. And then, you, you guys, you know I went to Oahu, and I'm, I'm really big on Hawaiian music, and this is sealed. This is the guitar of Jerry Bird on the shores of Waikiki, and I was on the beach. Um, Waikiki, no wonder it's such a famous beach. Even when it's crowded, it's just spectacular, stunning, beautiful beach. Uh, if you haven't been to Oahu, I really recommend going. It's uh, very busy, but there's a lot to do on Oahu. I used to go to the Big Island a lot. I lived on the Big Island in the early 80s, and it's, you know, very chill, uh, relaxed. But Oahu is just flat-out fun, and you can go to the North Shore as well. All right, so this is on the shores of Waikiki. Now, this is interesting. This is uh, from Ronnie Charles... And this is orchestral covering Pink Floyd. This is sealed. I just couldn't believe this when I found this. Covering Pink Floyd and uh, Love Rain Over Me, The Who. Let me show you. Really interesting album. I'll be, I will be busting this one out most likely. Unless it's, I don't think it's worth that much, but I'll find out. Really glad to have these. Again, all these finds were in the last week. So I did really, really good. And then at my friend's, uh, this is the only second-hand store, the Coffer, Aurelio, and his wife. And here is a Straub's record. And, you know, you have Wick, Rick Wakeman on here. Uh, Wick Wakeman? Rick Wakeman and Dave Cousins and the Straub's. And I hadn't had any Straub's on vinyl. I have uh, Straub's on CD. So this is fun to have. And there's the boys in the band. And, uh, you know, I had a copy of this a long time ago. One of my favorite solo Eric Clapton albums, 461 Ocean Boulevard. And I love this album. Real good one. This is very, very clean. I did have to pay up a little bit. It was $10, but very pleased to have this one. I like Backless as well. The very first one, the Del Delaney Bramlett writes half the songs on the first EC solo album, and anything Derek and the Dominoes is cool. You know, Derek and the Dominoes, Bobby Whitlock. And for a long time, I was saying in my videos, if uh, Derek and the Dominoes had done another album, you know, that would have been cool. And I never had this one, and here it was, Derek and the Dominoes in concert. And I've never had this. I don't have it on CD. So glad to have it on vinyl. And uh, so I have my second Derek and the Dominoes album on vinyl. Wonderful. Really great. And, you know, Bobby Whitlock has a great channel on YouTube. If you want to hear some outstanding stories of back in the day, Leon Russell, uh, Eric Clapton, all the, all the people he knows. And here's, here's Slohan. So, uh, yeah, and this plays nicely as well. Really great. And lastly, the second-hand store that I went to, um, Antiques and Treasures uh, Rock, right? Uh, the albums were really, really pricey. You know how antique malls are. They jack them up. But I did uh, negotiate down to $5 a record. And I've wanted this Gabor Zabo for a very long time. And you know, the interesting thing about Gabor Zabo, you know, he does the great covers uh, in a jazz style of Beatles, Dylan, and he plays a Martin, uh, either a Martin D28 or a Martin D35. And I always uh, uh, remarked about that in the 70s because I had a Martin D35 and I knew that he played real heavy strings, jazz stylings on that Martin for all these great uh, jazz tunes that uh, Gabor Zabo does. 
And I have, uh, I don't know, about three or four other Gabor Zabo albums. But this is a good one. And here he is. And then there were two, two Emmy Lou albums, early 80s, but glad to have them. This one is sealed. And I'll take this at $5 sealed. Really nice secondhand store. I don't think I'll go back there for a while because I really, I picked through every single record. And uh, yeah, I got quite a few. So the beautiful Emmy Lou. And the hype is torn, but that's driving wheel on there. And then this one is Emmy Lou 13. Great cover. I like this one a lot in the shrink. Now this, I looked this up. This is a rare record. This is uh, the Restless Breed from 1958. I couldn't believe the price on this when I saw it. This $5. I'll investigate this a little bit more. I'll add this to my soundtracks. And then I scored a really nice Roseanne Cash, King's Record Shop, $5 in the shrink. There she is. Now... This is cool. This is the Four Tops Motown Legends covering a lot of really interesting uh, tunes. They're covering, uh, well, they're doing Standing in the Shadows of Love. And uh, they're doing Honey. They're doing Sunny, The Look of Love, Light My Fire. Let me show you the songs. And that's, look at the hype on that, Super Value. So again, $5, and I've never had this Elvis record, and this is mint, minty, minty. There was an Elvis box that's worth about 100 bucks that I could have got a great deal on, but it didn't have the photo. It wasn't complete, and uh, yeah, I, I have quite a few Elvis records, and, and I, I dig Elvis Presley, man. I'm telling you, I do, I do appreciate the king. And lastly, and thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, you know, uh, Jackpot Records in Portland, Oregon, they have uh, the Martin Denny uh, box set, three records of Martin Denny for a very fair price, but I've never had any, and there was a mint condition, Exotica, never had it, this was $5, so glad I've been looking for this, I always see this really beat up, and I have a minty copy and, you know, he's from uh, Martin Denny's Oahu, Waikiki, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. This is Hawaiian music, and he really paved the way for a lot of the 1970s soul funk jazz, Kalapana, Sea Wind artists, and all that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon, and uh, have a good one. Bye.